status check to proceed with terminal count. Respond. Go, no go. Atlas systems propulsion. Go. Hydraulics. Go. Pneumatics. Go. LO2. Go. Water. Go. Centaur systems propulsion. Go. Pneumatics. Go. LO2. Go. LH2. Go. Has gas. Go. Electrical systems airborne. Go. Ground. Go. Facility. Go. RFFTS. Go. Flight control. Go. GCQ. Go. GCQ. Go. GCQ net one. Uh, go. Roger. Operation support. Go. Com. Go. Umbilicals. Go. ECS. Go. Redline monitor. Go. Quality. Go. Op safety manager. Go. UA safety officer. Go. Vehicle system engineer. Go. Anomaly chief. Go. Range coordinator. Clear to proceed. Launch director. Launch vehicle is ready to launch. Mission director. You have permission to launch. Proceeding with the count. ALC, verified T0 is set for 2232 delivery. Verified. Polling is complete. The ULA launch team and the NRO mission director are go for launch. From T minus four minutes until launch, you'll be listening to Scott Barney and his team performing the final steps in the countdown procedure. You'll hear the team call out that a topping has been secured, followed about a minute later by the call out for transferring the Atlas and Centaur stages from ground facility power to internal battery power. At T minus 155, the team will command the launch sequencer to start, followed shortly by securing the Centaur liquid hydrogen and Centaur liquid oxygen topping activities. At T minus 140, the team will command the flight control system to launch enable and arm the flight termination system. In the final minute, Atlas tanks will be verified at flight pressures, followed by a verification of Centaur tank pressures. A final status check of Atlas, Centaur, and NROL 101 readiness is conducted at T minus 25 seconds. At T minus 3 seconds, the RD-180 engine will roar to life. After liftoff, you'll hear the voice of Rob Kesselman providing launch vehicle ascent data. Not it here. You're on net one. This is Atlas Mission Control at T minus four minutes and holding. We anticipate releasing the hold in just a few moments. On my mark, the time will be T minus four minutes and counting. Three, two, one, mark. The countdown clock has resumed, and we are go for launch at 5.32 p.m. Eastern Ground Time. Ground gyros enabled. T minus three minutes. Securing LO2 topping. Atlas tanks to flight pressure. 250. FTS internal. The Atlas tanks are now pressurizing for flight and the flight termination system is on internal power. One fifty nine. 
vehicle internal. 155. Launch sequencer start. 150. Securing Centaur LH2. Securing Centaur LO2. One forty. Launch enabled. One thirty seven. FTS armed. One twenty. OCU's armed. FCS count started. One fifteen. Reduce ECS for launch. Roger. 110. Vent valve lock. 2 minus 1 minute. Rock, report range status. Range green. The launch vehicle, payload, ground systems, and eastern range are all go for launch. T minus 40 seconds. We will at step three. Twenty-eight. He has reduced for launch. Roger. Twenty-five. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go NROL 101. With that call, the NRO 101 mission is ready to launch. T minus 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 8 7, 7, 7, 6, 6 5, 5, 4, 6, 3, Atlas Ignition, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff. Liftoff to the Atlas NROL 101 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. You are hearing the voice of Rob Kesselman providing launch vehicle ascent data. Close loop engine control. Alice has now completed its pre programmed pitch over maneuver. Now at 28 seconds into flight, Alice is 2 miles in altitude, going at 1200 miles per hour. Party 180 has throttled down slightly as expected. Engine response looks good. Party 180 mock, pass Mach 1. Engine pump speeds and injector pressures are in family for this level. SRPs look good. RD-180 has throttled back up as planned. Mach 2. Now, 70 seconds into flight. Atlas is 10 miles in altitude, 5.9 miles in altitude, 2,100 miles plus. Atlas has passed Mach 3, spinning by for SRV burnout. We have burnout on all three SRVs, spinning by for jettison. The RD-180 is now throttling down slightly, and we have jettison on all three SRBs. Okay, all personnel MAT-1 start system securing for Operation 7. Vehicle is now past Mach 5. Approximately two minutes remain in the Atlas booster phase of flight. This time, booster tank pressures look good. And booster battery voltages remain in their expected range. RD-180 continues to operate as expected. Centaur reaction control system is now pressurizing the flight level. We 
We are now three minutes into flight on the L101 mission. Atlas is now 66 miles in altitude, 125 miles downrange, traveling at 7,500 miles per hour. We're now throttling down in preparation for payload fairing jettison. And we've had successful payload fairing jettison and successful CFLR load deck jettison. 